to him as a ball. championship and the two coaches they shake hands right to the left of home plate they have a lot of respect for each other of course Barrett Ray played for Roger Kador was a pitcher for him at Southern University and I'm sure if anybody's going to beat you you feel good that it was Barrett Ray that did it the student got educated learned and, and came back and won. And came back and figured out a way to beat his teacher. Mutual respect and congratulations to everybody down there in Roman, Mississippi. It's been a long time coming. Enjoy the ride. 12 to 6, the final score here from Shreveport, Louisiana. Barrett Ray, his son, and he is very, very happy. The first ever of all the years that they've held the SWAC championship going back to 1959. Alcorn, there's Rat McGowan down there. If you get a shot of the right down the first base line, third, uh, first base line, Rat McGowan is walking toward the first base. He has on a straw hat. He's a longtime coach at Alcorn State University. And he is uh, over there talking to one of the assistant coaches. He's down the first baseline now. Uh, he was the longtime coach, could never win a championship. They honored him by naming the baseball field after him. In Lord, there he is, Rat McGowan, the longtime coach of the Braves of Alcorn, and he has lived to see his team do something he was never able to do as coach, and that is win a SWAC championship. So the final score, 12 to 6. And again, congratulations to the Braves of Alcorn winning their first ever SWAC championship. And here's the last out. Here's Cameron McGriff. And he hits it to Cole Vickers who puts the out. But Jay Walker and our entire ESPNU crew, Charlie Neal.